Yeah, we're in the workshop. Let me just turn this light on. Look at my face. Oh, that's harsh. Turn that down. Warm it up. There you go. Hideous. Okay. Uh, I haven't got long today, but I wanted to make some content and do something creative because it makes me feel like I've done something in the world. Uh, today is my less than 10 buck challenge. And because I really wanted to do it, here is a uh, camera in this box, uh, which was $8 off of keh.com. If you guys aren't doing this, please do it. Stop spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on your first camera. This is your first camera in this box. This is your first digital camera in this box. It's your first. Don't go anywhere. Don't swipe. Please check this out. Watch. Okay, we're not going to be in the studio right now. We're going to be in the workshop. So let's angle this so you can see the workshop. Stuff to sell, stuff to fix. Uh, this is going to be a fixer upper. It's this one. This box here is the one we're going to be using. Let's put some light over here so we can kind of see what we're doing. It kind of, there you go on that box. Cleaning rag. You always need a cleaning rag when you've got a new camera because you're going to be cleaning stuff. Box opener, uh, cleaning supplies, and here's the camera. Okay, I'm not going to do a top-down shot. I'm going to do a let's open it up shot without cutting ourselves in the face. Blindly cutting with a box opener. That's awesome. Okay. Uh, if you don't know who KEH are, just please Google them. Uh, if you're buying used camera gear and you're not shopping on KEH, then you're insane because these guys are awesome. So like I said, today you are not buying a camera for millions of dollars. You're not even spending hundreds of dollars. You're not even spending $50. You're spending $8 today to buy this camera. Now, you will need a battery. It's going to be $15. You will need a lens. It's going to be, we'll talk about it, but I got lenses from KEH for less than a tenner as well. All I'm trying to do is get you taking pictures with a camera that feels like a camera and isn't a phone, that you will download the images, that you will print the images, that you can get beautiful bokeh backgrounds, that you can get wonderful scenes. But the good thing about this camera, this particular one here, boom, Nikon CCD camera. This camera has a film-like sensor. This camera is amazing. I have four of these cameras up on the shelf behind you that I have refurbed, um, that I have brought back to life. This is the Nikon D70S. It's a six megapixel camera. It's a CCD sensor. It takes the F-mount lenses. It will take beautiful pictures. I love this camera. When I take pictures with this camera, I feel like a photographer. I don't feel like I'm taking pictures on my iPhone and then I'm putting them on the ether of tick facing uh, Instapot and then they go away forever. These pictures that I take with these cameras, they last forever, okay? Right, so what do we need? We need to come down here so I can show you what we're dealing with and why it was so cheap and what we need to do to get it working. First of all, I need a battery for this camera so we can make sure it works. Okay. Nikon D200 takes the same battery as that camera. So you will not get a Nikon D200 for $8, by the way. That's a great camera. Uh, the EN EL3E is the battery that goes into this camera. You will also need a CF card. Do we have any CF cards? I don't know, you guys, maybe 10 bucks, 20 bucks. So you can see where we're going. So all in, we're looking at a 10, uh, 30 bucks so far. Um, and then this is the lens you're going to want to get. This is the Nikon uh, kit lens. This is the 18 to 55. Look at that. This is 100% BPA. This is the kind of thing, this lens will do everything you need it to do. Stop spending so much money on glass when you just start out in photography. You ins Wait, wait right there. This camera, Nikon D800, full frame. This lens, Sigma Art, 18 to 35. Why do I have this camera and why do I have this lens? Because I use it for commercial jobs. That's why. Because I take people's pictures who pay me money. That's why. That's the only reason why. And I don't need this setup. I can rent this. If I want to rent this camera body from my local camera store, 50 bucks a day. If I want to rent this lens, 25, 30 bucks a day. So if I'm charging a client 500, um, I can obviously push this cost forward to them as well. You can look at that kind of stuff. But anyway, what I'm saying is do not spend 
the amount of money that I've spent on these cameras. So that's what I'm saying. So this is why you should not be spending that money. You should be getting these cheaper lenses. Nikkor, Nikon, Nikkor, 18 to 55, slow as hell, plasticky as you like, but you can still get dope images. Trust me. There's the camera. Can you see it? Look, look, I'm going to push it forward. Here we go. Here we go. Tra-la! Okay, so what do we need? We need a, a cleaning box of camera stuff with a bunch of things. Um, get these alcohol wipes. Get a whole bunch of them open and good to go. This is what's going to clean your camera. Uh, Nikon D70S DSLR. So this is from keh.com and I can already feel how kind of sticky that is. You can't obviously feel that, but I hope you can see it. It looks like if you went for a run in the heat and you've got that kind of film on you. Let's just get some hand sanitizer. First of all, the pandemic's chilled out. Uh, I don't want to jinx it, but yeah. We can get hand sanitizer anywhere these days. I mean, cheap as chips. Okay, so let's fast forward whilst I clean this. So just use your toothbrush and the cleaning wipes with alk on them, small concentric circles until all the black sticky stuff comes off and it will come off real quick. When it comes off, you just leave the camera to dry before touching it and Bob's your uncle, you're good. For reals, that camera was $8. I picked a D50 up in Goodwill recently. Have a look at another one of my videos. Um, and the D50 cost me 13 bucks. KEH is cheaper than a thrift store. What is my kit lens? Kit lens, boom. Okay, so that was weird. Let me show you what's up. So this required this specific CF card and I have no idea why. All of my other Nikons didn't like this card, but for some reason, this little quirky baby enjoys it look it says it's got 230 shots this is in raw um so yeah you guys are you joking that card was five dollars this lens i think was twenty dollars the battery was ten dollars and the camera was eight so total that up did, 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 did. cheap okay come back here 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 can you see me can you see me there there you go okay so i know this is quick and raw and it's not very good editing but I just want to show you guys for today that you can pick up a camera like this is a dope camera CCD 6.1 megapixel Nikon bad boy with an F mount lens. What does that mean? F mount lenses. Uh, it means that you can use lenses from old, the vintage lenses. I'm sure I bought one down. Yeah. These vintage lenses, you can put those on this camera and then you can shoot. Oh my God, you guys. You can manually focus with this bad boy lens, which literally cost me a dollar from a thrift store and get those beautiful images from that retro kind of vibe. So don't discount this kind of stuff. If you want to be a photographer and you want to go and take pictures, stop spending all the money. Come with me. Let's come with me. We're going on a walk. Let's go. Let me show you. Come on. We're taking my kit lens and I need a hat because it's warm. Let's go take some pictures and I'll upload them and you can see what's up. Okay, I'm wearing a hat and a terrible t-shirt. I hate walking around with a vlog. I'm not a vlogger. I hate going around like doing the vlogging. I'm more than happy to go and take photographs, but like vlogging, do you know what I mean? It just makes me nauseous. Oh, look at me, I'm vlogging. It's the worst. Anyway, I'd, I'm doing this for you because I want to show you guys that you can use these cheap ass cameras to take really good pictures. So I'm going to go out in the sunshine and we'll, we'll do what we're doing. It's a beautiful sunny day. Okay, so number one, light bulb test. Did we get bokeh behind the light bulb? We shall see. Number two, uh, plant test. I guess you're seeing what I'm seeing. This really bad videographing. Video, videographing, videographer in. Videographer in. It's my garage is a mess. See that? 530 or 535 IS. Beautiful.
you do spend eight dollars on this particular camera um and then you decide you want to advance your photography then you can just simply upgrade to the next level right because this is an f mount lens f mount camera so you can use these lenses on my d800 i don't know why you would but you can um it fits you can use these f mount lenses on a multitude of nikon cameras so yeah just go ahead and uh go ahead and do so see how good this camera is and we're also trying to get me some exercise because i'm skinny fat right now dad bod that's beautiful look at that flower i don't even know what that is but i'm taking a picture of it beautiful it is such a nice day it's not too warm today as well so nice to get out that's another good thing about photography is it's an excuse to get out stretch your legs take some images, make some compositions, make some photos. It's a pretty cool thing in someone's garden. So just for tests, you know, I'm not doing anything crazy, but composition wise, I just like to put something bright in the center screen, uh, center of my image. I mean, I think the focus areas on this, it has like four, maybe five. Um, I'm manually focusing right now because I just want to. I just love manually focusing. I love the tactile feel of using my camera. And that's another good thing because these older cameras, a lot of them are damaged. That's the Peak Design strap right there. There you go. Um, and I do care about this camera. You know, people always say, it was $8. If I drop it, I don't care. I care. All right. This was made 20 years ago. It's an heirloom. It's vintage. I care about my stuff. Peak design wrist straps. No one's yoinking this camera. The camera is not going to drop nice and solid. Um, in the hand wise, it's, I mean, this camera's quite big, which makes me feel like a photographer, which I quite like. Of course, you can do better. You just have to pay the money. Right now, we're not paying. Right now, we're cheap. Right now, we're good. Let's head back. Let's check out these images. Okay, so I'm sure you agree those images are dope. On its day, in its day, this was almost $1,000 when it was released. Obviously, technology was newer back then, so you were paying for the technology and everything's moved on. But if you want to feel like a photographer, if you want to have interchangeable lenses, be able to upgrade your lenses, 50 mils, 135 zoom lenses, all that kind of stuff, DSLR cameras are the way to go. If you are just starting out, please, you guys, get these cheaper cameras. Nikon D50, you guys look at that. Look at the label. Can you see it? I've got a video on it on the other side. $12.99 for a Nikon D50. Nikon D50, I've got that from a thrift store. Boom. Zoom lens on that bad boy, 70 to 210. I love that focal length. $12.99, are you joking? That lens cost me 20 bucks as well. Insane. If it says it has a sticky out, I'll buy it as is. Just buy it. My goodness. Clean it up. Go out, take pictures, enjoy it. The Nikon D70S. Thank you for watching. Gritty video. I'm so sorry. See you on the next one. Boom. Woo! It's hot. So hot right now. God, that's a lot of gin.